Hi everyone, welcome to virtualbrigade.com. In my previous video, I have explained you how to configure the tier 1 logical router and tier 0 logical router. In this particular video, I will explain you how to configure the NAT on the tier 1 logical router. So in order to configure the tier 1 logical router with a NAT, you can click on the tier 1 logical router and then you can click on services tab and then you can click on NAT. In order to configure the NAT, you need to configure the tier 1 logical router with the edge cluster. So as you can see from the overview tab, the tier 1 logical router is configured in the NSX edge cluster. So I have connected my tier 1 logical router to the edge cluster. Now let's go ahead and configure the NAT on the tier 1 logical router. In order to configure, you need to click on the services tab and then uh, you can click on NAT from the drop down menu. And in order to configure the NAT, you can click on add. So the priority, you can set the priority and you can click on the action wherein you can configure three different types of NAT. One is the source NAT, the second one is the DNAT and the third one is no NAT. So let me go ahead and configure the SNAT on the tier 1 logical router. I, you can select the protocol, any protocol or if you want to, spe want to specify some specific protocol. You can specify the specific protocol. So I am going to configure the NAT for any protocol and I will type the IP address of the source. So I am going to type 172.16.101.11 which is the source IP and the translated IP. I wanted the IP to be translated to 80.80.1. .80 and then uh, you enable the status and uh, logging if you want to enable you can enable and if you want to bypass the firewall you can enable the bypass uh, by toggling the button and then click on save so this particular uh, rule uh, is saved now we have uh, translated the source IP uh, 172.16.101.11 to the translated IP 80.80.80.1 Add the DNAT as well so I'm going to add so I'm going to select the action as DNAT and uh, any any protocol and the destination IP address is 80.80.80.1 80 80 and the translated IP address is 172.16.101.11 and the translated ports is not mandatory I'll enable the logging and then click on save So before we proceed, let me go ahead and enable the route redistribution on the tier 0 logical router. Select the route redistribution and then click on edit. I'll select the tier 1 NAT and then click on save. And let me go ahead and check the route redistribution on tier 1 logical router as well. So on click on route advertisement and the route advertisement for all the NAT is enabled so we have the uh, tier 1 enabled for the NAT and we have configured the NAT as well on the tier 1 logical router and we have seen how to uh, advertise the routes and on the tier 0 logical router we have enabled the route redistribution so you can see we have the static nsx connected nsx static and tire one nat and let me go ahead and test the page so i can now type 80.80.1 so so as you can see we were uh, able to successfully test the nat server test page so, so we have configured the tire one logical router and we went to the services tab and then clicked on the NAT and before you enable the NA, uh, NAT on the tier 1 logical router we need to connect the NSX edge cluster and once the uh, tier 1 logical router is connected to the NSX edge cluster you can come to the services tab and you can click on NAT and from the NAT uh, page you can click on add to configure the source NAT and the destination NAT and then uh, you go to the routing and then click on the route advertisement tab wherein uh, you have to enable the advertisement for all the uh, NAT routes and then on to the tier 0 logical router 
you need to enable the route redistribution so on the route redistribution we already have the route redistribution created and in order to modify the route redistribution to enable the tire 1 NAT you need to select the route redistribution and then click on edit and then we have enabled the tire 1 NAT in the sources and then click on save this basically configured the NAT on the tire 1 logical router and we were able to successfully test the NAT server test page so this is all about how to configure the NAT on the tire 1 logical router I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe.